सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर आप विच क्वेश्चन आई हैव टू डू सर रोल नंबर 1 Now only you have joined, correct? Yes, yes. Why? Sir, why uh, not attending class sir. properly, huh? No, sir. Here it is raining, sir. That is why uh, internet connection is not properly, sir. Where are you sir. from? Sir, Andaman, Nikobar, sir. Okay. Okay. So. okay uh, consider uh, this one okay that uh, question number 4 okay sir sir roll number 6 sir you are also late correct yes sir why beta sir actually network issue sir so no, i try no, to join sir early sure okay, but you are from sir from kerala sir the kerala network issue is there it is village or what So actually But, I am in quarantine, sir. Not uh, in my home, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Here in uh, our institute. No, sir. No, sir. In um, my place only, but uh, okay, okay. not in my home, sir. I'm quarantine. I'm isolated. Okay, okay. Uh, question number five. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, roll number thirty, sir. Bye, brother. It is already 9:43. You people are coming one by one. It is not like exam, okay, na? It is surprise test. If you not attend, then also I will, I will not reduce your marks, okay, na? What is your roll number? 30, sir. 30. So lot of people are absent, okay. So if I uh, go with one by one, then it will be it will, uh, the full class will go, okay. Can you answer? Okay, six A. Okay, uh, now I will not entertain anymore. Okay, na? This one is the. So nine forty-five. I will start this class. Okay, na? Again. So two more minutes. sorry
Okay. Now I will uh, resume our uh, class. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Fine. Uh, so uh, till now we have studied uh, for uh, algebraic equation and transcendental equation one, two, three, three method. Correct now. So now actually another method is there Muller in the next class we will discuss that one. Now order of convergence of the, the three methods we will discuss today. Okay. So how to find that one? It is from actually mathemat that uh, uh, working formula you have. Okay. And the procedure of that method you can derive the convergence order of the convergence or what is the criteria of convergence. Okay. For the case of bisection method. What I have written, okay, uh, we uh, what we did actually uh, uh, during that bisection method procedure. Let we have considered one initially. We have to consider one interval that is a not comma b not. Okay, so I have written that one. Let the interval a not comma b not be divided into two equal parts by x one. That is bisection. You have to make two equal part. Okay, so x one equals to a not plus b not by two. And f of x is calculated. Why you are calculating f of x1? Now we have to check in the next step, we have to check the load, uh, uh, the roots location. Correct. So to identify the root uh, locations, we have to do that one. So initially already we have discussed. So a0, y0 and v0, sorry, a0 uh, and vn, uh, v0, then middle part. Then we have to check the solution. Again, if the solution is lies between this part, then again the middle part. If the solution is lies between this part, then this uh, this is the bisection. And you have to uh, in each step you have to identify the location of the root, and you have to bisect the length of x-axis that one. Okay. And proceeding that way, what is the next approximation? You just see if f of x1 is the uh, exact root, then it should satisfy this one. But it will if it is not satisfying, then you have to go for the next iteration. That is, if f of x1 is not equals to 0, then either these two, you have already studied this one, correct now. The, then the root either lies between this one, this interval, or the a0, comma x1 interval. And identify after identifying uh, that one, that means what you have to check? You have to check these two, the box. Okay, box to box. And after checking, you can you can identify okay the second approximation result okay that is x2 a1 plus b1 by 2 we have already noted the look say it is the um, that uh, next uh, interval then it will be like a1 and b1 the next notation it is notation only changing okay so now this is the next approximation and again you have to find f of x2 and the same procedure you have to follow okay follow this one and if it is the solution x2 then it is zero if it is not equals to zero then you have to go for that one and so you already you have already studied what is the working formula for the bisection method xn plus one equals to a n plus b n by two fine fine now Say you are finding the root between a n and b n, fine. So that is actually the final root, uh, final location. Okay. Now my question is, can you identify the? I'll go back. I'll go to the next slide. Okay. Now you, you my question is, find b n minus a n, not in terms of x. What is the answer? B n minus a n. You tell me the answer. I will then I will add it. What is the Bn minus An? So till now what we have done, that one I will summarize this one here. Okay. An less than equals to Vn less than equals to V0. These are the initial interval. Okay now for all n. So what we have done A0, then A1. Okay, let us consider like that. Okay now then a r okay and so on then v r okay now v n here it is okay 
and V0. So initial length was this one, uh, slightly a little bit in, uh, reduce, 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 and then you uh, got the answer, this part. So that's why this inequality must hold, okay. So I will erase every part, only that inequality will be there, okay. So now my question is, what is Vn minus An? What is the numerical value? You have studied this bisection method. You should not say, I don't know. Okay. F of X. Uh, tell me one second, but your answer is correct, maybe. Okay. Xn plus one minus An or Xn. Okay. This one, fine. Okay. Anybody else? Let's see. So some small questions people are sending till now, 9.43. They should answer immediately, but till now they are sending the answer, 9.43 almost. Should not take more than 10 minutes. Okay, what is Bn minus An? If I write, then you will say, yeah, sir, that one. Okay, write down in terms of in terms of A naught and V naught. This is the n plus one iteration answer, uh, that interval. The answer is V naught minus A naught by two power n. Okay, you can derive that one. What he, uh, you have written, you can identify that one. Okay, it's not a problem. Okay, you can able to identify this one. Okay, after that. So A naught by B naught into two power N. Since you are actually, what you are doing, B naught minus A naught by two, each time that one. So, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, two to the power N, n is for the number of n plus one iteration you are doing that's why it is two to the power n okay so now this one so what is actually our target we are finding or we are discussing regarding convergence of this uh, method that means the root is here okay what is the convergence con concept okay if uh, what is the minimum number of iteration so that you can reach this on this route okay that is the rate of convergence or we can say the convergence comma that uh, order of the convergence okay so, though the terms are different but the basic concept is okay what is the convergency rate or what is the convergency criteria of the bisection method so what we are, we have done actually we uh, have reduced the interval initially a naught by b naught this one then we have reduced to this one and ultimately fine then ultimately we can reach the point am i correct that one only we have done in our uh, bisection method yes or no concept conceptual yes, uh, that one so now you just see initially it is a naught by b naught by two okay for x one then again by two interval only the reducing okay now and in what what rate uh, one one by half okay so now final uh, the concept i will erase this one okay just check okay so our target is to reduce the interval and ultimately finally the upper limit and lower limit of the interval will be same then only that is the root yes or no yes, so sir. What is that then target? That Bn minus An, that is actually the An and Bn is the final interval. So if these two are match, means actually coincide, that is the answer? That is the root? Yes or no? Yes, sir. How it is possible from this relation? I have written in a different color. Okay. 
b not minus a not by 2 to the power n how it is possible i will write once again it's nothing in mathematics just idea tell me when b not bn and an will be I mean, say, uh, will lie in the same point there will be no interval you can't say yes you can say any point say 2 2 is also one interval how it is no <laughs> okay so when upper and lower bounds are same then that interval actually reduces to one real number fine so any number a not and b not okay so any number a can be represent in the interval how it is yes or no okay so now you tell me what is the bn minus an when it will means our target is to make bn and an very close and rather you can say bn and an should be in the same point how it is possible from here you can answer that box and i'm confident that i will get the result from you people that means answer from you people roll number some people are responding frequently i will ask them first okay now roll number 40 or uh, 42 yeah bn minus n how can you make make it same point like that i have already discussed now 2 or 3 3 is one real number fine how can you make it interval 3 comma 3 so that is an comma bn say okay okay you, okay okay but you can think of that okay roll number uh, 29 Sir, I think we should apply limit n tends to infinity. Twenty nine number. Yes, sir. Okay. I am writing limit L T. Okay, now. Yes, sir. Then what is the answer? Becomes zero, sir. Then. And then B n equals to n. Okay, very good answer. Twenty nine point. So now uh, roll number. Uh, 31 roll number 31 okay absent roll number 46 you just see after completing that test that people are left okay roll number 52 yes can you explain what he actually answered? Okay, the, his answer is correct only. Can you explain in terms of your bisection method? What you can explain from this part? Vn minus An equals to zero. Okay, uh, I can write a little bit more details. V naught minus A naught to, to the power N equals to zero. It's fine. Can you conclude uh, not that limit sense? bisection method sense it's open to all anyone can you make any statement from this if uh, from this uh, this part this expression okay now or you can say this equation okay regarding the bisection method anything you try to uh, say something okay now if it is not correct also no problem yeah What is your roll number button? Very good. So if I say the same thing in different words like that, when n tends to infinity, the, uh, the uh, we will get the root of the equation. Am I correct? Your one is actually you are telling an and bn will be same. Correct. 
So an and bn will be same means only one point. That means three equals to three. So x equals to three. What is the what is that? It's not an interval. What is that? I say root. Very good. So forty two. Fine. In that way you have to think. Okay now. Okay. Every time mathematics, if we are doing, then it's a problem. Okay now. So now. Okay. Not rule number twenty nine and forty two. Okay. Somebody else should answer. What is the convergence criteria? The convergence criteria. Then we can say that when n tends to infinity, what is the n? Anyone? What is n tends for bisection? Number of iterations. Number of iterations. Okay, good. So what we can conclude actually then, if number of iteration is more, then we will get more appropriate solution. Fine. So now I will after this one. After this one is fine. So you have to erase the rest part from the this one. Okay. So this part. Okay. Now after this one is fine. Okay. So what actually we are doing? Okay. So let epsilon n plus one be the error. Okay, error in in approximating uh, the root, if we say alpha, okay, by x n plus one, then okay, then mathematical form. Till now we have discussed only the conceptual form. Now I am writing. Mathematical form. Okay now. Sorry. Okay. So, epsilon n plus one equals to alpha is the root x of n plus one. You know that is v n minus a n less than it is v naught minus a naught by two to the power a n. And now, epsilon of n plus one tends to zero if n tends to zero therefore the convergence criteria okay or convergence convergence of bisection method okay criteria or better to write the convergence criteria criteria of criteria of bisection no 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 Just take a look. Convergence of bi uh, bisection method is okay. Sorry, is n tends to infinity. Okay, and in, instead of writing n tends to infinity, you can write method is large n. Okay, that is we can say the n tends to infinity. We, it is not possible to find n tends to infinity. Fine. So maximum ten or that is also an, um, say too much if you calculate uh, uh, using calculator. But if it is any uh, that uh, programming language, then you can put n equals to hundred easily. It will a fraction of second that will give you the answer. C programming or MATLAB or any other program. Okay. The convergence of my method is large n is large n or you can say. n tends to infinity better is right to n tends to infinity mathematically okay so now next one okay same concept and what will be the convergence criteria for newton raphson method okay convergence of newton Raphson, okay. Method, okay. What is the convergence of Newton Raphson? What is the mathematical form? The, sorry. Okay. So what is the, it? Is also iterative method, correct? The iteration formula. Iteration formula, or iteration function, okay. 
right? Iteration function. Iteration function as okay. What is that one? Phi of x, x minus f of x divided by f dash x. So why I'm uh, what we have written actually little bit changes. We you know that x n plus one. What is the answer? X n minus f of x n divided by f dash x n. Correct now. That is the formula. Okay. So now what I am writing x n plus one. We are removing that x. Sorry n. So it is a function of phi of x. So this one is x, f of x, okay, and f dash x. Fine. So that part only I have written here. Just check. Fine. So the formula iteration uh, formula I have written iteration function instead of iteration formula that working formula. <coughs> Sorry, we have written iteration function. You have plus. At what time? Nine, ten, twenty, na? Next class. Okay, two, uh, ten, uh, ten more minutes is there. I think so. Correct. Okay, so we will complete at least Newton Raphson method. Fine. So now you know that you have to find the solution, a root of the uh, function f of x. Okay, using Newton Raphson method. That is the method. That is the function. Okay. So when this function will converge, f i of x. You have, can you explain or can you tell something regarding how to check the convergence of this one now? Now instead of equation, now you have the function. Okay. So what is the convergence of this function? Now this one will converge. Correct now. If this function is converge. Okay. Therefore, the sequence so this is a sequence the sequence sequence phi of x will be converged sorry will be converged will be convergent convergent if and only if ah uh -huh. We should not write this one. Okay, if and only if. So, but you have studied sequence or not? No answer. Yeah, very good. Okay, then uh, can you answer when we can say that phi of x or phi of n, whatever may be phi of x, x is n here, let us consider like that. Okay, now the sequence phi of x will be convergent if and only if any idea i can should i give any hints or you will try first so have you studied convergence of sequence and absolute convergence of sequence yeah then you can answer now anyone what is absolute convergent? The term absolute is there. You can guess from that one. What is absolute uh, absolute value? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. So, what is the meaning of absolute in mathematically? Modulus, correct? Mod, mod, okay, fine. So now, okay, just first year you have studied, I think so. First year, first sem, correct? So sequence series, fine. So absolute convergent. So now that if and only if this function will be converged, if and only if modulus of phi dash x, okay, is less than one, okay. So if that is the absolute convergence, then phi of x is also some concept of absolute convergent is this one. If it is convergent, then the phi of x is also convergent. Okay. So now 
What is the condition? If and only if phi dash x is less than one, mod of phi modulus of phi dash x is less than one. Then what is the condition for convergence of Newton Raston method? So you have to find the f dash x. Can you prompt me what is the f dash x value? So phi dash x, first you find the phi dash x. What is the answer? x means 1, that part I know. What is the next part? f of x into or something, f dash of x into f dash of x minus, okay, 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 fine, this one, this is not uh, modulus, it is square, okay. So now you have to take the modulus, fine, this one. It's okay. So now this one we know that less than one. Just do some simple modification. You will get one relation from the this part. Okay now. Can you answer what is what, what you are getting? What you are getting from this part, that green part. Okay now. Modulus of one minus phi dash x square minus f of x into f double dash x divided upon uh, f, da, f dash x whole square is less than one, mod of that one. What is the, that ultimate condition you will get one expression, a very simple expression. I will not go to less than one. So that good, okay. So, uh, uh, better can you tell me once again, actually I can't, f of x, okay f double dash x okay okay sorry this one okay is less than one. Oh, why you are uh, telling this one you can tell me this one also now correct yeah 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 okay this one fine so this is the criteria this is the is the convergence criteria okay so now this is the convergence criteria it is for the newton repson method okay what is the highest derivative of this one in the convergence criteria two correct now f double dash is there Okay, so note down here, the newton Raphson iteration method, okay, iteration method, one question was there in that, uh, I have shown you the question uh, today morning, but actually I have not given to anyone, I think so, okay. So there, it is, uh, the question is actually, what is the order of the convergence of newton Raphson method? Two, three, four, five, and none of this, uh, I think one question was there, like that. So the now the answer is here. The uh, the Newton Raphson iteration method, okay, is a is a it is a note, okay now is a second order second order iterative process iterative process. Why? Anyone? Fine. Good. Good. So we stop here today. So next, yeah. So what is the uh, uh, order of iter um, so iterative process bisection of bisection method? <laughs> yeah, all are silent. Why you are not answer it? Okay, then you answer in the next class or you can send me, you can uh, send that answer in uh, your uh, math group. What is the order of, okay, order of the iterative process bisection method. Okay, what, are, what is the order, okay, of bisection iterative method. You should have explanation, don't say 0, 1, 2. Okay, not like that. Why it is 0 or why it is 1 or why it is 2.
okay in that mathematics group okay then yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is your name? Okay, Chandras, your answer may be correct. Okay, now I will not say right now. Your uh, concept is good. Okay, now. So now uh, you just wait for um, answer from your friends. Okay, now it will be there in chat box only. Correct, now group math group. So uh, if they are agree with you, they should should say that yeah, you are correct. Otherwise, let them answer. Okay, now. Okay, good.